Hello, hello, what's up, what's up everybody, how you doing? Yo, live again, we're back again. And uh, first of all, a humble request. If you happen to watch this live video, help share it with your friends so that we spread a message. Yo, save UG music, it's the main issue. Yeah, first of all, you know about the hashtag, it came up a few weeks back. And uh, a lot was said, yeah. But in my own opinion, I would say that Uganda music industry has been betrayed by our fair Ugandans. We've been betrayed by our own. Name them the DJs, the radio and TV presenters, the journalists, the things they publish in their papers, the DJs, the music they play on radio, their countdowns. I'll give an example. I listen, I listen to a couple of like top of the hour countdowns daily, daily. I listen to them, but you may find like a top 10 countdown. Only two songs are by Ugandans, and the rest of the songs are from our side. Then, how would the Uganda music industry move on if our own DJs they can do that to us musicians in Uganda? What about they? they I had it before they were like uh, it was an extra the, it was somebody asked on red and an interview what do you play like uh, only international songs maybe okay songs from outside of uganda and they're giving an extra like uh, you know the songs are well produced they mastered and what which is the lame extras uganda now at this time we have the 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 best producers in the game People coming from other countries working with our producers. So, what would you give an excuse that um, Uganda music is like uh, not well produced? So you play Nigerian music. That's the lame excuse, and it's never there. It just uh, it's just a fake excuse, if I can say. It. So, our DJs, radio, TV. I think you hold, you hold, you hold a special position in this industry. And if you can still do that, then our industry is not going anywhere. To the journalists also, I know my read, I'm a good reader. I read newspapers, I read magazines, entertainment, news, uh, like uh, on the social media. I follow those blogs from Uganda, like uh, by Ugandans on social media, the things they publish, the things they write on their wall, time on their walls, but find like a... Uh, they have written about a Ugandan musician. It's in the other way around. Nothing good about them. They're always writing the bad that happens to Uganda, like maybe a fighting in club or like a uh, Ugandan musician was caught doing this. That's one they will rush to publish. And when they go outside, they just write a Rihanna, Rihanna is pregnant, Beyonce gave birth to Jay Z, did this and this. Only pushing pushing the outsiders leaving behind their own brothers and sisters back home that won't take us anywhere as Ugandans I hope you understand what I mean yeah you hear I'll give an example way back uh, also on an interview somebody was asked a presenter was asked why how comes like you're not praying this certain song by such a Ugandan musician. So what the presenter replied was like, "May the musician has never come to studio and brought his music to me." And my question was like, "Has he ever like did ever at any one time Chris Brown, DJ Khaled, Rihanna come from the US, whatever they are, and bring the music to Uganda?" Damn, man. Eh? When the world of like, they say digital world. Eh? Yeah, so everything you can get new Ugandan music, a lot of Uganda music on the internet. If you feel any Ugandan music, but still give an extra such a musician and then bring the music. Yeah, let's let's wish let's wish ourselves good. That's how we'll, we'll move from one point to another. But if we still have the envy, like I don't know, it won't take us anywhere. So, my opinion about safe Ugandan music, all the stakeholders involved. My fellow musicians, all the listeners that consume our music, like on those, uh, when it comes to your part, the listeners, 
uh, I don't mind also say like uh, comments like on social media request time people requesting requesting yeah they requested for like those songs from outside and we have a lot of music way here in Uganda so I won't blame I don't blame them that much cause they get to know those songs because the DJs play them that's how they get to know them those international songs so if it was a, if you're playing like you UG music UG music they are getting it, new Uganda music every day and playing it yo the consumers will would appreciate and keep requesting for that music so everybody who's involved my DJs my musicians let's 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 fight this together it's not a one one man's fight like uh, the DJs are going to do this TV presenters like uh, all those news feeds let's fight together and save you music that's all i had to say save you music all stakeholders radio djs tv presenters the journalists with the musicians and everyone and all the listeners the consumers of the music let's keep it ugandan let's love ourselves we first got to love ourselves then the world will love us I, I think everybody sees it. It's happening in Nigeria. They love themselves and the industry is growing, growing so fast. They are taking music to the world because they love themselves. So I think we need to grow that spirit right here in Uganda. We love ourselves, then the world will get to love us. For God and my country, bye bye. That's all I have to say. Share this live video, spread the message. Let's save our industry. We we'll take our music to the world, big upon ourselves, the consecutive untouchable. I sign out.